Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the 2021 Ram 1500. I'm gonna go over the differences for this year. I'm gonna talk to you about the new technology that's gonna be available. Tell you about one little change in trim level, and we'll kind of talk to you about some colors being offered in this truck when it comes out this fall. Now, my guess is October, November with COVID shifting things back in production and the plant being closed down in May and April, that's kind of the time for looking at, but it, it has some really interesting changes. They're borrowing some tech from other manufacturers, putting their own technology in, and it's gonna make the truck even better. Look out for it. <clears throat> Here they come. Oh, hey, if you're first time on the channel, hit subscribe, stick around. It's a good time. We talk about trucks and SUVs and million mile truck stories and different things I do. And so again, it's a good time, stick around. So let's go ahead and get started on these changes. You can find the full details that I wrote up on pickuptrucktalk.com. The 2021 embargo lifted this morning as you're seeing this video and all details are over there as well if you would rather read them. But let's kick off the details and technology. We have three new ones and unfortunately, I have no video and I have no photos showing this technology, but I can describe them to you. So number one is kicking off is going to be heads-up display. This will be a dis display above the driver. If you've seen them, these different uh, luxury vehicles have them. And uh, some other vehicles are starting to get these now. Trucks are starting to become a big thing with this. And on this heads-up display, you'll see five different content areas. Uh, lane departure, and so if you, you know, leave your lane, it'll either alert you with a line or what's going on that you left your lane. Lane keep. Now you can take them, when this is on the screen, it'll alert you that when, and it'll nudge you back in your lane, and a system notification will come up that it did lane keep, did work. Uh, you have adaptive cruise control. Now this is where you set the cruise, the vehicle behind you, and it maintains that speed, or main, whatever speed you want to set it at, and then when you pass the vehicle, it goes back to the speed that you wanted to go, the speed you had set. Turn by turn navigation, uh, you can do current speed and gear and you can do the speed limit, and some, most often they have a little speed limit, a little speed limit sign, what the speed limit is. And now these are, I listed one, well, I listed six of these, and these are configurable through the Uconnect system. So you can decide which ones you want on the screen, which ones you don't, you can figure those as well. So that's gonna be the new thing. Um, I don't have details on what package is gonna be on quite yet, but I'm guessing it'll be on some higher terminal packages, options, be part of a technology package, that would make sense to me. Also new this year, and they're gonna borrow this from GM, is a 9.2 inch digital wide rear view mirror. If you haven't seen this before, it takes the rear view mirror, the standard like mirror that looks back at people behind you and through the truck, and eliminates that and it takes a, makes a digital image by using a camera in the back of the truck and puts an image on your screen. This is a little unnerving the first couple times you use this because you're a little bit like, oh my God, what's, you know, what's going on? Because it's like looking at a video game almost where you're just looking at the digital screen behind you. It is really handy though if you have a cabin full of people, or if you're hauling a bunch of stuff, or you have a, a slip-on camper or something like that, that obstructs your view out the rear view mirror window, this mirror replaces that view and makes it even better. And what's great about it too is it's usually adjustable. It's gonna adjust up and down. And so if you have an issue with you have kids that leave their bikes in the yard or in the driveway, this is really handy. You can, you can take and put that down. You can see what's really behind you in nice digital display. And you don't have the distractions of people in the cabin or people ducking heads, so it's a really nice feature. But again, it does take a little bit getting used to, and some people don't like it. I tend to like it, but I have to spend some time with it because it's it's a little freaky when you first get into it. Now, the other big change, number three big change, is gonna be able with trailering. This has been a focus area for most half-ton truck makers in the last five or six years. And what they're doing here is they're gonna put the trailer reverse steering knob. This is similar to the system that Ford uses. So what you do is you input into the system, like the driver information screen, the length of your trailer. And you can preset usually like three to five different trailers. And so you pick the trailer you have, and then you turn the dial. If you wanna go left or right, and you turn the dial, and it'll activate you and tell you you're gonna back up right or left, right? And then it'll take care of the steering. And so all you're doing is using the gas and the brake, and you're just gonna back up the trailer as far as you want to, and then you stop and, and hit, put it in park. This is particularly handy when you have, um, well, not really in this case, you're not really doing a fifth wheel to tow with a half ton, but it's pretty handy when you're trying to back up different trailers, uh, things like I would have, like my single axle uh, pickup bed trailer, really hard to back it up. And so this system allows you to do it a lot more efficiently, a lot more easily. And this is something you're seeing in the 2,500 and three quarter, or three quarter ton and one tons, but it's coming down to the half tons because why not? And you can get this in a trailer towing package and it just gives you that one more option, um, maybe backing up a boat this would be a great option for that. A, uh, a single axle pop-up camper. Those single axles are really pretty hard to get back depending on the length of them. 
And so this is a pretty handy feature to just turn the knob which way you want to go and you back up, you're done. You don't have to hear um, other like screaming at you and hands and stuff like going like this and getting frustrated. It takes that equation out of being frustrated and maybe you don't need to drink quite as much. Um, other things happening are the trailer light check. And so this is a pretty handy feature. I don't know if it's going to be on a key fob or how it's actually going to work, but a lot of times what they do is that the system will know when your trailer's hooked up and it'll either signal, signal through to your lights and come back on the screen until your trailer lights work. Or like in the case of Nissan's, you can actually go behind your trailer and you press the key fob a couple, the lock button and lock, unlock, lock, I think it is. And then it'll cycle through all the lights. It'll cycle through the, the left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights and emergency lights. And it's pretty handy for when you hook up your trailer if you're by yourself and to be able to check your lights without having to miraculously try to figure it out a way to do it yourself. Another thing you can do in this new truck is offer, they're offering a trailer tire pressure monitor. Now this is really handy. So you can have, if you have the trailer tire pressure monitors on your trailer itself, on the wheels, you can transfer some information into the truck and inside the truck then while you're driving, you can keep track of the tire pressure of your trailer. Something that most people don't do and it's kind of a little scary sometimes when you don't know what shape your trailer tires are in and what the pressure on, you're not keeping track of those, because that's a vital part of towing. The option is gonna be the power folding trailer mirrors will now be optional or with a 360 degree camera option. There's also gonna be a wired trailer camera prep package. This is gonna allow you to put a trailer camera somewhere or a camera in your trailer or behind wherever, it'll be wired and it's gonna be prepped so it's ready to go. So you can take this camera, place it wherever you want to and plug in to your truck and that can become one more camera on your Uconnect system, the big screen inside. So for example, a horse trailer, if you wanna put a camera in to check, track your horses, if you want, have a, if you have a, oh goodness, a, uh, a, another trailer, a, a box trailer and you wanna check your cargo inside occasionally, you can put a camera inside that and link it and wire it to your truck. And so it can be pretty handy depending on what you're hauling and what you're doing. And I've seen sometimes they don't work quite right, but a lot of times they do. And so that's something that to keep in mind as well. Um, the slight trim package change. Yeah. Oh yes. There's a 2021 Ram 1500 limited Longhorn 10th anniversary edition. Whew. It's a celebrating edition of the Longhorn. Uh, I should not even check this, but it's got, uh, Mountain brown dipped interior color with unique seat do door bolsters, seat insert, trim bezels, center stack surrounds, speaker grills, Berber carpet, and a metal pedal kit. Unique badging on the doors, tailgate cluster, seats, floor mats, instrument panel, console, new graphic, and startup. So yeah, it's gonna have a lot of that cool stuff. Um, other safety features, I should have pointed this out as well. You're gonna have uh, adaptive cruise control, stop and go, lane keep assist, automatic high beams, 360 degree surround view camera and parallel perpendicular park assist are going to be part of a new advanced safety group. And there'll be a slow snow plow prep package. This includes a 20, 220 amp alternator, truck side plow wiring harness, and rear power sliding window defroster. So that'll be out as well. They announced that in March at the work truck show. So that's, that's changed there. And then, like I said, that was basically it. There's no changes in the powertrain, except if you say that the Ram 1500 TRX is a big change because it's supercharged 6.2 liter V8. Um, all the other powertrains are the same. They got the diesel, they got the hybrid uh, V6, they got the hybrid Hemi, they got the stock 5.7 liter Hemi. Um, all the transmissions are all the same. There's no changes there. I did want to talk about color real fast as well. And where's that? Uh, available colors are monotone, you get a red pearl, a flame red, hydro blue, patriot blue pearl, maximum steel metallic, Granite crystal metallic, billet silver metallic, olive green. I, I'd like to see an olive green one. I don't see green very often. I really think green's a great look on, on a truck. I like the color. Uh, diamond black crystal pearl, bright white ivory tricoat. Two tone is billet silver metallic, diamond black crystal pearl, and RV match walnut brown metallic. That RV match walnut brown metallic came a couple years ago. And the idea with the two tone is that it matches most fifth wheel camper color schemes. And so it's interesting it's in the 1500 because usually that's a three quarter ton, one ton thing. You can get your truck to match your camper. Yes, that's where we're at here, folks. Berber carpet and your truck matches your color in two tone. Truck matches your camper in two tone. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. It's just, it's funny to me. So there's all the details. Again, if you want to see details, check it out on pickuptrucktalk.com. 
It'll be live when this video goes live. I'll put a link down below. Also, check out this next video. It's a good time. Website, like I said, down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.